Hello, welcome to our channel Cell Studies and in this lecture we are going to discuss about the chemical bonding, okay? So, before we begin our lecture, subscribe to our channel, like, share and comment, okay? Now, let us start about our discussion, the chemical bonding. So, this is a flow chart, the different types of the chemical bonding that we have discussed in this chart, okay? Covalent bonding, non-covalent bonding and so on, okay? In this lesson, we are going to start about the hydrogen bonding. So, hydrogen bond is partially electrostatic force of attraction. So, first of all, you have to understand about what is meant by bond. Bond is nothing but the force of attraction between the two atoms, okay. So, let us consider this atom A and atom B. There is a force of attraction between these two. So, that is known as bond. Generally, the bond is not about a line between the two atoms. It is a force of attraction. This force of attraction is going to hold the two atoms together are two molecules together so that is known as bond so there are different types of the bond so here is here we are going to discuss about the hydrogen bond so this hydrogen bond is partially electrostatic force of attraction so that attraction is between the two atoms or two molecules so the hydrogen bond is formed between the hydrogen partially positive uh, atoms of the one group and also electronegative atoms of another group so here you can see there is an example given here so that is nothing but water molecule. So what is what? How the water molecule looks like? So the water molecule looks like in this way. Okay. So oxygen, hydrogen, and hydrogen. So this is the water molecule. So how the bond is formed between one water molecule and another water molecule? So here you can see the oxygen is electronegative. Okay. It means it is going to accept electrons from the other atoms. So here this oxygen is going to have some kind of attraction, attraction of electrons from the hydrogen. So what will happen? As a result here, on the oxygen, there is a development of partially negative, okay, delta negative means a partially negative uh, sign. So here the, on the hydrogen, you will see the formation of the partially positive, okay, why? Because this hydrogen has lost the electron, it means it, the oxygen is going to pull electrons towards it, okay, here you can see in this diagram, diagram in this way clearly. So this is a hydrogen, this is a hydrogen. So the electron which is present over here, the electron present over here, it will be pulled towards it, okay, or pulled towards in this region. So as a result, the electron is little bit farther away from the oxygen, farther away from the oxygen, okay. So the high, whatever the electron that you will see, it is partially forced towards the oxygen. As a result, there is generation of the partially negative and partially positive on the hydrogens, okay. So this is a uh, this is about the creation of electronegative uh, this is a creation of electronegative uh, state. So the hydrogen gets partially positive due to the charge due to the attraction of electrons by the electronegative atom. Example whether it may be oxygen, whether it may be nitrogen or fluorine. So these are the atoms that are going to uh, make the these signs or such kind of partially positive and negative atom uh, signs over it. Okay, hydrogen bonds can be intramolecular or intermolecular. So intramolecular means between the atom. So between the atom, okay. And intermolecule. Intermolecule means in this way, okay. This is one molecule. This is another molecule. So the force of attraction between these two molecules known as intermolecule. Intermolecule means between the two molecules. So intramolecular. Intramolecular means within the molecule there is a force of attraction. Within the molecule there is a force of attraction that is known as intramolecular. Okay, so inter means between, intra means within. Okay, so this is the structure of the water molecule. So this is this one water molecule, this is another water molecule. In between these two water molecules, there is a uh, hydrogen bond. So the hydrogen bonds you can see that is written in the light yellow color. Okay, so the signs will be formed over here. Okay, the hydrogen bond varies strength from the weak that is. 1 to 2 kilojoules per moles to stronger that is about 1.161.5 kilojoules per moles. So these are the strengths of the hydrogen bond. It has the features of the covalent bond, example directional, stronger than the van der Waals force of attraction. We will discuss about stronger van der Waals, we will discuss about van der Waals force of attraction in this lesson. Okay. And intermolecular, intermolecular hydrogen bonding is responsible for the high boiling point of the water. In the last lecture, we have discussed about what is meant by boiling point, what is meant by melting point. So, so high boiling point of the water is essentially due to 
hydrogen bond that is intramolecular uh, intermolecular okay so the and uh, intramolecular hydrogen bond uh, hydrogen oxygen bond is partially responsible for the secondary tertiary uh, and a quaternary structure of the proteins nucleic acids etc so proteins are nothing but the chain of the amino acids so these are one amino acid one and also different types of amino acid so these amino acids are joined together by a peptide bond so again in the proteins we can see there is a formation of secondary structure in the tertiary, secondary tertiary quaternary it means these hydrogen these polypeptide chain will fold in this way so when it is going to fold there is a formation of a uh, formation of a bond so these bonds are going to hold the uh, protein chain in three dimensional structure so this is known as tertiary quaternary means and another another subunits will form and come uh, will come over here and there is a formation of a bonds okay so such kind of bonds will be seen within the chain and also between the chains okay so this is about in case of proteins and structure of the uh, nucleic acids also in the nucleic acids generally we will see the nitrogen bases so these are the nitrogen bases example this is a guanine and this is a cytosine so these are the two nitrogen bases and between these two nitrogen bases you can see the hydrogen bonds so we have represented the hydrogen bonds with the red color dotted lines okay between the gonin and cytosine we can see three hydrogen bonds so these are the three hydrogen bonds that are going to hold the two strands of the dna together okay in this way you can see this is the dna okay so in between the dna there is a nitro uh, there, is, there are higher uh, these are the nitrogen bases that are present okay these nitrogen bases are held together by a hydrogen bonds so generally you can see the dna is a crystal ladder okay if you untwist the dna it looks in this way okay so in this way the nitrogen bonds are present uh, uh, nitrogen bonds are present in this way okay joining two strands together okay and hydrogen bonds hydrogen bond plays a major important role in the structure of the polymers so poly means many okay many subunits that is known as polymer okay so this is one unit another and three four five and so on so these are the polymers these polymers are joined together to form a these monomers are joined together to form a polymer monomer means individual units polymer means a different types of the different many monomers that are joined together that is known as polymer poly means many so these are they that may be natural or synthetic okay synthetic means uh, artificial so these bonds are also known as secondary bonds okay so next van der waal interactions so these van der waal interactions are named after the, the dutch scientist jones jones derrick and also van der waal so van der waal force of attraction may be may form between the any species so any species means any type of the atoms or any type of the molecule so example whether it may be non polar polar ion or molecules so between them these van der waal force of attractions may form so these interactions are formed when the two atoms are Three to four Armstrongs apart. Armstrong means the distance which is measured. So these are the smallest units of the distance. You cannot measure with a scale or some other thing. So it is measured in the Armstrongs. So these bonds energy is less than eight kilojoules per mole. So it's very very less. Okay. Here we will see that there are different types of the van der Waal forces. So one is the ion dipole interaction, stronger dipole dipole interactions, ion induced intra uh, dipole interactions uh, interactions. dipole induced dipole interaction weak uh, weak london dispersion for forces so these are the different types of the van der waal forces among these among these all ion dipole interaction is the strongest forces of interaction in the atoms or molecules okay and now let us start discussion on ion dipole interactions okay ion dipole interaction these are the interactions between formed ions and also the polar molecules okay so let us this uh, before we discuss about with help of uh, uh, diagram so let us uh, complete this uh, sentence strong these are the strongest force of attraction among all types of the van der waal forces okay we will take the example of the hydrochloric acid hcl okay we will take the example of hcl so in the hcl you will see the hydrogen and the chlorine okay here again if you compare the hydrogen and chlorine the chlorine is the electronegative atom it means it is going to accept or attract the electrons towards it so hydrogen has the atom and chlorine has the atom uh, 
it it has electron and also it has the electron chlorine has electron hydrogen has electron but here is due to the presence of electron activity of the chlorine so it is going to accept it is going to pull the electron towards it okay as results what will happen there is a generation of the partially positive charges and partially negative charges on these atoms here you can see on the hydrogen you will see the generation of the partially positive and on the chlorine you will see generation of the partially negative uh, negative charge okay these are the these are the variations in the charges due to the attraction of the electrons so this is one thing that you can see between the hydrogen and chlorine now let us take the another example nacl sodium chloride in the sodium chloride the same thing so the nitrogen is present uh, and also another thing the chlorine and here also you can see the uh, attraction of the atoms in this way okay so now let us talk another with another example that is uh, sodium and also the water molecule if you if you place some amount of a sodium uh, sodium chloride in the water what will happen so the bonds will be formed as a result first uh, you throw the sodium chloride inside the water if you dissolve it the sodium chloride will be sodium and uh, and also chlorine will be formed now we will discuss about the sodium interaction with the water molecules so na plus and also the water molecules are present over here okay and here also you will see the water molecules in the previous lecture we have seen how the water molecules charges will be generated the partially positive partially negative charges will be generated so this is the partially negative and this is the partially uh, positive atom that will be seen over the hydrogen over the hydrogen partial positive over the oxygen partial negative here also the over oxygen partial negative here also over partially positive so as a result what will happen the sodium is partially positive why because you have dissolved the sodium chloride in the water as a result the sodium has a positive charge there is a generation of the ion dipole dipole interactions so here you will see the formation of ion dipole interactions so these are the interactions that you can see between the sodium and water molecules so by this way you can see the formation so the whatever the interaction that you can see the between the sodium and also water molecule these are the ion dipole interactions so here you have shown the two ion dipole interactions okay and it's a stronger dipole dipole interactions so these interactions are formed between the polar molecules polar molecules example sodium chloride okay and also hydrochloric acid these are the polar molecules so these are the second strongest force of attraction among all type of the van der waal forces so now let us discuss uh, this stronger dipole dipole interaction with the help of the example so that example is again let us take the examples hydrochloric acid hcl so in the hcl you will see the formation of h h and also chlorine uh, chlorine that is the hydrogen and chlorine in the water so what will happen so between the hydrogen and chlorine so that is a bond is present between them between them that is known as polar and polar so this is the polar polar atom this is the polar atom so hence the bond which is formed between the two polar atoms that as that bond is known as polar polar interactions okay polar polar so this is known as stronger dipole dipole interactions okay and next is the ion induced dipole interaction so these interactions are induced by the ion so the word itself says about it ion induced dipole interactions so example the non polar molecules will be formed example ccl4 hydrogen bf3 chlorine and so on so these are the examples for it so now let us uh, discuss with the help of the example so hydrogen let us take the hydrogen so hydrogen it will be formed in this way okay bit all the bond between the hydrogens and hydrogen so the electrons are present over here so here we have say we can take the another example like a bromine okay bromine so here you can see the bromine is a electronegative atom so what will happen it is going to attract it is going to it is going to attract the electrons so what will happen as a result whatever the electrons that are present over here so there is a generation of the partially positive uh, positive symbol over here the partial negative charges over here so why because there is a attraction so the attraction of the electrons okay between by the bromine to the hydrogen so as a result the ion induced dipole interactions will be formed okay so next is the dipole induced dipole interactions 
so here we can uh, here the these are the interactions induced by the dipole molecules okay dipole molecules that are going to induce so example hcl and here you can see the chlorine and also the hydrogen on the hydrogen you will see the formation of positive positive why because in the previous uh, slide also we have discussed due to the electronegativity of the chlorine so partially negative so what will happen here the same another uh, let us take the chlorine so cl2 molecule cl2 molecule or cl2 uh, thing so the the partially positive charges will be generated over here partially negative charges how how because so the chlorine is a electron h2 uh, here they will here you can see the formation of delta minus okay so as a result what will happen it is going to push push the electrons which is present on the chlorine towards other side as a result what will happen the electron distance will be more so as a result it is going to generate a partial partially positive charge so as a result there is a generation of the interaction that interaction is known as dipole induced dipole interactions so that you can see uh the dipole in induced dipole interactions between these two uh, molecules okay so next is the weak london dispersion forces so in the weak london dispersion forces you can call them as instantaneous dipole induced dipole interaction instantaneous means within no time within quick change so that is known as instantaneous dipole induced dipole interactions so these interactions are the weakest interactions among all type of the van der waal forces so now let us take the example of the weak london dispersion forces so here you can see the hydrogen okay so hydrogen so in the hydrogen at any point of time so let us see the structure of the hydrogen so hydrogen or any atom so this is a nucleus and this is the about uh, around the nucleus there are orbitals there are about um, uh, shells okay they are also the same so in this case what will happen the electrons which are present over here will move at any point of time towards other side so the electrons are towards other side and over here in this region there is no electrons so here also in this side the electrons are present uh, as a result if the electrons move towards this side what will happen here there is a generation of the positive charges or positive signs so here also in this case the electrons will all move at one side here if they move in this condition so what will happen so there is a differences in the charges to the one side of the atom and another side of the atom so here there will be formation of the positive symbols or positive charges over here so as a result the positive charge species are going to attract the neutral charge species as a result there is a formation of the bond or attraction or the forces so these forces are known as weak london dispersion forces they may form at any point of time and they may break at any point of time so this is known as weak london dispersion forces okay and i hope this lecture is helpful to you and if you haven't subscribed to our channel subscribe to our channel so that it is going to your subscription makes us to motivate to to do all such kind of uh, education content okay and like the video share and comment provide your valuable suggestions or uh, feedback in the comment section so that we can improve a lot with the help of your comments and feedback okay and we will discuss the next topic in the next lesson